actually, it extends our preseason um, with our players by a week, really. Uh, we get a lot more um, sessions in, in preseason with no classes in session. So it's really a, a nice time for our girls to bond a little bit more on and off the court because there isn't the pressure of the academics. They're just here for two solid weeks, going on three solid weeks of just volleyball and training and, and getting ready for the first competition. Yeah, I think it takes some of the pressure off of them. All they have to do is focus on being an athlete. Mm -hmm. You know, being a student athlete is, is challenging when you throw the academic side of things in there. Uh, so it's been kind of fun for them to just focus on being an athlete, especially going into our first weekend competition. We kick it off with the with the tough um, opening tournament down at uh, Southern Indiana. Um, we wanted to we want to challenge ourselves. We wanted to have a, build a, a nice strength of schedule, uh, which I think we definitely did. Um, we. We've had such a long preseason, so you, you feel like you have enough time, but then you actually really never have enough time, even in preseason, when you have an extra week. Um, there's always more that you could get done. So um, we've challenged ourselves for our non-conference tournaments. Yeah, you know, we've got some tough opponents. It's, it's pretty exciting. You know, traditionally, Kentucky State is, is really good in their conference and, and makes the national tournament. Uh, Southern Indiana is the same way. You know, they're traditionally a, a pretty strong team. Uh, going into opening weekend, and I know that uh, Minnesota State Mankato yeah. is going to be really good. They play in a, in a very tough conference, so opening weekend is going to be a challenge for us. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think I think our girls are looking forward uh, to getting out there and competing for real. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I, I'm we're looking forward to the challenge. You know, every every match is is. We try to value it the same. We have to play our best, and um, we are in one of the tougher pods. Um, you know, Gannon you know, went to the Final Four last year. Um, they're a tough, com tough opponent. Uh, we did split with them last year. So, um, and and Mercyhurst is is uh, always tough, and Slipper actually coming along. So we're in a tough position uh, in a, in the pod, but um, you know, overall our conference is getting stronger and stronger every year. So. Our, our goal is to leave it on the court, play every game, every point as hard as we can, um, and you know, hope and train for the best. I think one of the unique things about the PSAC is there's a lot of parity. You know, anyone can beat anyone on any given night. And that makes every match not only important, but every match a lot of fun. And I think the true test for us is to really play the best we're capable of playing. Every Re night. Regardless on who's on the other side of the court, and that should be our, our true measure of success. If we're playing at the best we can play, the result's going to be what it is, and, and I know we'll be in every match. So that's that's kind of it. You know, you're you're never going to replace mm -hmm. players like that. They've both been four-year starters here, um, both tremendous athletes, um, just devoted to the team and the program. Um, we did bring in some nice players. Mm -hmm. um, we have some returning players that I think are going to be able to, to step in and fill in nicely. Um, we're looking a lot from CC um, Sierra. We're looking for her to really come in and, and can pick up where she left off. We're also looking for Jordan to step up in the setting role. Um, and really, we have some freshmen that are coming in. We expect, we expect Leash and Sally to really contribute as freshmen. Um, and I think they're going to be valuable um, parts and pieces to our success. Well, and you know, you look back at, at last year, you know, uh, Megan Scrub Talk and, and Hannah Cantrell missed a lot of time last year yeah. uh, due to injury. So, you know, we're going to be looking at them to, to really contribute and, and play major roles. Um, you know, along with the development of our freshman class from last year, you know, like Molly and, and Paige played huge roles for us last year. And they need to take the next step in their development as well, because you're right. We we're not just going to replace Shallon and, and Squid and, and players like that because they're fantastic. But I think if we can, if everyone can contribute a little bit more, it minimizes the loss. So it's it should be exciting. Lots of fun. You know, every win lies with the with the girls that we have on the team and just a testament to what they're putting in and the, and the work they're putting in 
and, and the passion and the commitment to the program to be as, as good as we can and every night we step out on that court they compete as hard as they can um, you know it's every win is is, is the girls it really is okay good luck this season thank you I appreciate it I'm a star.